Hey guys, welcome to another Walk-In Wednesday. The important thing that walked in the door was this Walther PPK. Beautiful finish, beautiful gun. By the way, this is from 1935. It has the one piece brown grip. This is a commercial gun from 1935. Beautiful finish. But the one thing that's unusual about this gun, very rare about this gun, is the radium night sight. First of all, you rarely see the radium night sight. So they didn't make that many. And yet from the very beginning, the PPK has this modification. The very first uh, PPK is in through the pre-war era. You see the little notch on the bottom of the front sight, and then there's a little notch on the front of the muzzle. And that's so you can clip it on the top, tighten down the screw. Now you notice how I put my finger on that. That was a really bad idea, and I'll tell you why. I've been doing this for years. Uh, this came in the door. I thought I should research it so I could make this video, and it turns out this is still radioactive. Radioactive. I was always told, oh, they don't, they don't glow in the dark anymore, and in fact, they don't. They don't glow in the dark, but it turns out radioactivity on this is 1,600 years. 1,600 years this remains radioactive, although the luminescent quality fades away over time. So it doesn't glow in the dark anymore, but it is still radioactive. And that's an important thing to know. And, and as I looked it up, it turns out that there was this uh, lawsuit in the United States called the Radium, the Radium Girls. These are the girls that actually painted the, the face of, I mean, the hands of a watch, uh, hands of a clock. In Germany, they did the night sights. The girls started getting cancer, so they sued the company and the company pointed out that they were, the problem was they licked the uh, paintbrush in order to get the tip real fine. And I even read where they would do their nails with the glow in the dark radium. Uh, so they were ingesting the radium. This actually emits a, a very low level of radioactivity. And they recommend not long, uh, you know, basically don't have long term exposure. So the amount of exposure I just had, I shouldn't be touching it. You shouldn't lick it, not that you'd be tempted, but you should never lick that, ingest it, inhale it. In fact, um, it, you've heard of um, radon gas in your basement. Radium naturally occurs in the earth, and the radon gas comes from radium. So if you have it in the earth, it'll, you have to get it out because it can be cancer producing. So uh, it's still radioactive. Be very careful with it. I'm going to go wash my hands. Don't stick it in your pocket like I did and walk around the gun show all day. Too close to the boys. If you ever want to have children, you don't want to do that. <gasps> Um, and today, right, in fact, they stopped making this in the 60s because they realized how dangerous it was, um, and they went to the tritium night site. Tritium uh, is also very low level uh, radioactivity, but it's so low that it doesn't penetrate skin. So its half-life is only 12 years. So if you have the tritium night site, you can actually buy the paint and reapply it, but I'm told it dulls, uh, the luminescent dulls down over a period of 12 years. You can put it in your pocket. It doesn't penetrate skin. So I'm told it's perfectly safe. That's what they say about a lot of things like cell phones. And then later on we find out it's not so safe. So be careful. Don't stick it in your pocket and carry it around for a long period of time. Most of all, don't lick it and don't put, put it on your fingernails. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Walk-In Wednesdays. Hey, check it out. Push the subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey, check this out. Push the subscribe if you want to be notified about our videos or pick one of these re recommended videos.